Uh, Legion, once again, time to recap. We're searching for keepers. We're also looking for... Uh, Garrus. And... Um... Helping the consort. Okay, wait. Let's go back this way. Papu, I'm R two D two. Wait, what? I know this place. You guys will know this place later in the game. Lala. this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Hmm. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. Uh, what's the catch? What's the catch? Whoa! <laughs> there is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous Spectre in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain. Considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single, strong community. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find down in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. 
a mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the Council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Too bad you actually can't invest real money into the sh into him, because that Goodbye, would be cool to play Commander. like a little stock market game to help boost your uh, credit funds in the beginning of the game. That would have been very cool. Alright, uh, I think... Got all the keepers on this level, so let's go on ahead and head down to the wards. Let all races herald the glory of the Enkindlers who raised oh. them all to enlighten. He's still preaching. Where there was only darkness, the Enkindlers gave light. So let's go down to the wards. Can I go down now? Yay! Another elevator ride. And she's got her rifle. In light of the right. recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Oop, another keeper.
Another elevator. Never been a real fan of crowds. Ashley, put your gun away, Jesus woman. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Them elevator rides. Elevator! I used to call elevators elevators when I was a little kid. Ooh, it's so red. Ooh. Whoa, that was weird. It auto saved for me, so I'm also going to save. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute, dude. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Boom, ba, ba, da, da, da. Let's go see about those people I can talk to really quick. Is that really? Wow! It's you! You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? <laughs> Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Okay. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. Information but it doesn't matter power. where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. Show me what you got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Oop. I think he's part of Bill and Ted's group. The Wild Stallions. Most excellent. Wait, what? Holy crap, Tastic on a stick. 80,000. Oop. 
Oh, I'll buy the license. It's actually worse. I don't think I can afford, no, yeah, I definitely can't afford that stuff, that's... Cool beans. Move along, nothing to see here. Actually, wait. Isn't there like a sp like a scenic view spot like right here? I remember this. You can like talk to your crew members. In a second. Big place. That your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans, ma'am. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? Alright, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenko, but we're on duty here. Uh, aye aye, ma'am. I'll walk drag, ma'am. Lull. You think it's expensive to live here? You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. Too many lights, too much noise. Actually. Oops, wrong button. Uh, uh, inventory. There we go. I'm wondering if I broke it with the assault rifle. We'll switch, and then... Reswitch and see if that fixes her rifle. Yep, that did it. Mm hmm. That's what did it. Changing her rifle in the other episode uh, broke it. Commander Shepard, excuse me. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Ice cream man's outside. Around. I don't know if you heard it. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. 
Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. <laughs> Gotta be a keeper back here, but and darn it. Ashley got stuck. Where is she? Okay, where did Ashley go? She got stuck somewhere. Oh, no, there she is. Maybe around this corner. Yep. I wonder if the, uh, let's see, journal. Okay, sit all fan, reporter. Scan the keepers. 14 out of 21. We'll do a quick save. Oh, you can see what date I recorded it on. LOL! Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Claude Michel. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor? How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the city? My parents brought me here when I was... My father was... I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the Let military. Let me take a look at what you have for of sale. Course. Now, remember this. There used to be here a, um... A glitch where you could buy something and then sell it back for more. Now I wonder if they patched that in the PC version. Or you could sell it and buy it back. There goes the C-Sec Academy. Oh, that leads over there. Oh, here we go. This leads to the Flux. another human in here. It's out of my hands, Rita. I'd bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. Wow. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Goodbye. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? 
Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Dorn before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Chorus Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. I'm waiting for someone else. You can't wait for someone else. You know you want Commander Shepard. She's awesome like that. <gasps> Keep her. Scanned. I think somebody rigged this machine to funnel credits through the system. Let me trace a signal. Ooh. Yay, we win. <laughs> Drinks and dancing down below, gambling up above. Good place to blow off some steam. Maybe we should dance. Can I dance? It looks like a lot of the stuff we have to do is in Cora's den. So. Where is Cora's den? If the CSEC office is down that way, let's see. So we gotta go back this way. Big portion of the game is played in the Citadel. Didn't I come up from here? Oh, there's a guy I could talk to over here. Where is he? Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Hmm. Very good things I have. You will see. Use standard items. Let's see. Let's buy that. Medgel, Banshee 2. Ugh, I need more money. Nothing else down here. What's up here? Oh, that's back to the red room. Okay. This must be to Cora's den. Quick save, and we will go into Core's Den in the next episode of Mass Effect. Goodbye, everybody, and take care.